and it's first time out proper in lockdown so I've brought my Kodak flip lens Kodak Cresta out loaded with FP4 film so let's go and see what we can catch quite like the look of uh, this old tree uh, using perhaps if I shoot it from using these old fallen all forms and that to create my composition I don't know whether a cleaner composition would look better perhaps using that way I'll take a shot of it. So I've come out with Jock on an interesting walk to use my flip lens cold up Cresta to uh, leave a park. It used to be home of uh, Lord Levy Hume, the great uh, Victorian uh, philanthropist. That's a word to say, isn't it? Try saying that when you've had a few. So uh, it's quite an interesting walk and it's got some interesting features like this summer house behind me. And uh, yeah, it can make some good, some good, some good black and white photography. So it's a nice, pleasant day today. We're just coming out of lockdown now, so hopefully you can get some good images. Well, this is the lower summer house. It could make quite interesting photographs using the Kodak Cresta. Got some interesting features. This quite has an interesting look to it using these steps as a leading line through to the other steps and the window and the path going off. So that might make a quite interesting composition. So So you see if there's any interesting compositions here. See to come out work, that might work with the reflections in the water. See what there is, see what I can find to shoot. What a lovely location. These Japanese gardens are uh, some really good uh, minimalistic compositions here that I'm going to come back and shoot with uh, my other camera. So it's quite a good location for photography. Some really, really nice. That's a good composition there in the middle with those stones leading through. I think I'll take that shot.
I think that makes an interesting composition. That old ruins there. These old ruins here. Make quite interesting photographs. So maybe this position here, catching these branches which will go a bit fuzzy with the flip lens. So we'll try that and see what I think this is called the Upper Summer House. There's a composition there using the doorways and using that paving to make my composition. I think this makes a great composition, this archway with that path, there'll be a nice contrast with the trees, with the flip lens, we'll get distorted. So let's see what we can get. So let's see what we can get. I'm just going to take this shot now, hopefully it turns out okay. This is the pigeon house and it makes an interesting composition We're using the flip lens camera. I'm going to use this uh, fence line here as a leading line up to the house and with the clouds in the background it will make a, quite a good flip lens composition for black and white photography. So let's see what we can get. I'm going to use this wall leading up to the pigeon house to use that as a leading line with the clouds on this side to get an interesting black and white photograph. Here we are at the Italian gardens. I think the trees down at the bottom there make an interesting composition. And uh, hopefully the image that I get will work. I'm going to use these steps as a leading line on the opposite bank to the trees.
Then we have the Italian bridge, and it makes an interesting subject for the flip lens camera. So hopefully it turns out well, and if it's any good, I'll show it you now. If you've enjoyed this uh, little walkabout with my flip lens camera, please uh, uh, subscribe and I'll see you again in the near future. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.